What does every plumber have in his hand while he goes to work? He carries his toolbox. It's very important for people like carpenter, plumber, etc. Tools and machines we use. Tools make work easier. We use needles to stitch notebooks, knives and blades for sharpening pencils and a pencil sharpener to do it more easily. We use a scissor for cutting paper and a hammer for driving nails into the wall. The needle, knife, blade, pencil sharpener, scissors and hammer are tools. In order to plant a sapling in the soil, we can make a bed with our hands. But it is easier to dig the earth with a crowbar. A spade makes it easier for us to push aside the soil dug with a crowbar. Thus, the tools we use make our work easier. They save our energy. We use spoons to serve rice and curries. We can serve food even with our hands. But serving with spoons is easier and hygienic. The spoon is also a tool. It will also be revealed that one tool is used for many purposes. And also how deeply human life is dependent on tools. Human life is almost impossible in the absence of tools. Primitive man used sticks to obtain fruits from trees in the forest. He got the sticks from the trees themselves. He used the sticks to attack forest animals and defend himself. He used to dig roots from the ground with the sticks and eat them. The stick was man's first tool. Before that, his hand was his tool. After that, he used to dig the earth with pointed stones. He used the pointed stones to rip the flesh of animals. If a stone was not suitable for the job, he shaped it to suit the job by striking off flakes with another stone. He tied the pointed stones to sticks with creepers and used them as spears to hunt animals in the forest. He also used the bones of dead animals as tools and weapons. Gradually, man discovered fire and iron and made tools of iron. With iron tools, he could do many things easily. He broke rocks with tools and built houses. He made crowbars, spades and ploughs and tilled the land. He selected the plants useful to him planted them or sowed their seeds and raised crop with the help of tools. He made looms and wove clothes with tools. Man has thus made his life better and comfortable with the help of tools. Machines Look at the sewing machine. It has several parts. There are needles which pierce the cloth and thread the string, a lever which furnishes the string to the needle, a wheel which moves the lever, a pedal that turns the wheel, etc. The needle, the lever, the wheel and the pedal are tools and the sewing machine is a combination of tools working in cooperation with each other. From stone implementation to iron tools, from tools to simple machines and from them to complicated machines, man has progressed to the extent of devising machines to undertake interplanetary travel. Here are the list of tools that are being used by the farmers in the villages. The plough to plough the land. The crowbar to dig earth. The sickle to cut crop. 
the spade to shovel seed layer to sow seeds the axe to cut branches the carpenter makes articles with wood the tools used by him are axe and chisel to cut wood plane to smoothen wood axe to cut logs saw to saw wood the drill to make holes in the wood the carpenter uses hammer screw driver file and many more tools the blacksmith artisans who work with iron and make iron articles are called blacksmith if we go to a blacksmith we can find the furnace the bellows that keep the furnace burning the heavy hammer and anvil tongs pincer cutting pliers all very interesting the tailor tailors use a sewing machine scissors tape needle cutting tables etc cycle repair shop what are the activities that go on in a cycle repair shop punches to tubes and tires are sealed nuts and bolts are tightened or loosened cycle parts oiled etc in a cycle repair shop care and maintenance of tools tools are usually made of iron and wood iron rust in the presence of moisture there is moisture in the air around us so iron tools rust soon rusted tools are brittle they lose their sharpness and become useless iron tools also lose their sharpness on account of constant use and become blunt careless handling of iron tools result in cuts and wounds rotating parts of machines get reduced on account of friction increase in friction makes the tools trot and loose and also produce unpleasant sound care of iron tools to prevent rusting air should not be allowed to come into contact with iron tools grease vaseline or coconut oil should be applied to iron tools when they are not in use on account of the oil layer air cannot come into contact with the iron tool or iron parts of a tool rusted tool if an iron tool is already rusted kerosene has to be applied to the tool and the tool is to be kept away for some time kerosene dissolves rust the dissolved rust is then rubbed off with a brush grease coconut oil or vaseline is applied to the tool now and the tool kept in its place the grease or vaseline may be wiped off before using the tool again friction to reduce friction in rotating parts lubricants like machine oil or coconut oil may be applied at the rotating points you might have noticed the tailor applying oil to the sewing machine now and then sharpening when a chisel has lost its sharpness it may be rubbed on a sharpening stone with a drop of oil sharpening should not be done without oil if tools like sickles and knives lose their sharpness they may be rubbed with a file or ground on a grinding stone to restore its sharpness safety of wooden tools wood is eaten by rats and white ants wooden parts of tools have to be protected from them they may be brushed with sandpaper first then varnish has to be applied to prevent insect and white ants coming near them care in use of tools a tool should be used for the purpose for which it is intended 
a chisel should not be used for tightening or loosening of screw nails. A screwdriver should be used for driving and loosening screws, nails but not for opening metal caps. Every tool should be have its place. The tool should be replaced in its place when not in use. The tool should always be kept sharp and trim. The rust on iron tools should not be blown with your breath. It may get into your eyes. It should be removed by a brush into the waste basket. Lubricants should be wiped off before using a tool. Blade holder When we hold a blade, it may cut our finger as it is very sharp and thin. If half of the blade is covered by a holder, you can safely hold it between our thumb and forefinger.